When I look forward for a device every year that is the Huawei P series. It is where Huawei introduces its new camera development and the company has done some wonderful exploration. One of the best camera phones industry ever saw last year was the Huawei P30 Pro. A revolutionary zoom camera with its creative periscope and the outstanding image quality is fantastic and we enjoyed it. Today we have here the Huawei P40 Pro. So without any delay let's start the unboxing and review of it. But before if you are new here please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. If you end up liking this video press the like button and share it with your friends. So let's get started. Starting from the back, the P40 Pro follows Huawei's trend for designing P series phones with a large sensor. The frame is made of aluminum while the front and back are wrapped in glass. Silver Forest, Blush Gold, Ice White, Deep Sea Blue and Black are the five available colors. Speaking about my review unit is the black variant which is covered with glass on top. The fingerprint smudges are visible which I hate the most. When holding the device feels like the Mate 20 Pro. Lightweight and portable. The screen curves on all four sides making it a device that practically has no sharp corners or rough edges. Yes, this is probably the very first phone that has a curved display on all four sides. The curves are not as significant as that of the Mate 30 Pro. but more similar to that of the Mate 20 Pro. The USB port and the main mic is found at the bottom along with the speaker grill and SIM card slot. The SIM tray houses a nano SIM card and a second slot for either a nano memory card or a nano SIM card. On the right side is the power button and the volume rocker. Again we could see the power button is a subtle red accent which looks good. The IR blaster is accompanied by two aerial bands on either side and a noise cancellation mic is mounted on top. The Huawei P40 Pro has a 6.58 inch screen resolution of 1200 by 2640 due to which the aspect ratio of this screen is somewhat strange at 19 by 8 by 9. It's not quad HD but a 441 ppi pixel density which is lower than the current norm of several other brands. The flex OLED display of the P40 Pro is similar to the Mate 30 Pro but is now refreshed at 90 hertz. In the package there is a 40 watt supercharge adapter to take the 4000 200 mAh in 74 minutes from 0 to 100%. Therefore, I expect it to last quite like the Mate 30 Pro with moderate to heavy usage. It supports fast charging at 27 watts with the reverse wireless charging just like its predecessors. P40 Pro is powered by the high silicon Kirin 990 5G chip which comes with an octa-core processor paired by a Mali G76 MP16 GPU. It is the same chipset that is used in the Mate 30 Pro. It has a 8 GB of RAM and either an internal storage of 128 GB or 256 GB which can be expandable for another 256 GB by a nano memory card. The device performance is very fast and snappy and swamps a lot of apps and play games without any lag. The P40 Pro comes with EMUI 10.1 which is installed over the Android 10. It's a open source version hence it doesn't come with Google mobile services. You can use the phone clone tool to transfer the apps and settings from your old phone. With 90 Hz refresh rate the EMUI 10.1 makes much smoother. 
In recent years, EMUI has developed into a nice and clean interface with vibrant yet easy to use interface elements. The screen's built-in fingerprint scanner is mighty fast and the face unlock is even faster. An improvement is visible with the face unlock scanner, claimed by Huawei to be 30% larger and 30% faster than the previous model. The Huawei P-Series stands out in crowd with camera technology backed by Leica. The P40 Pro has four camera sensors. The main rear camera is huge 50 megapixel ultra vision sensor. The secondary camera is an ultra wide camera with 40 megapixel super sensing cine camera. The third camera is a 12 megapixel super sensing telephoto camera. And the fourth camera is a time of flight sensor. This camera setup requires a separate video. So for now, I'm not going deeper, but there are few samples that speaks for themselves. The main camera is equipped with optical image stabilization and octaphase detection with autofocus. Images are bright and colorful, have a great range of dynamics and autofocus is pretty fast. For Huawei, low light photography has been a strong point and P40 Pro does not differ. The RYYB sensor seems to help to capture a lot detail and with its night mode, the P40 Pro can really look in dark. If you use the 5x optical zoom of the P40 Pro, the AI image engine clears the image and makes it better and more accurate. The portrait modes required no tweaking. Huawei has further improved these features and are much better now. The main camera can also take videos up to 4K at 60 frames per second. The ultra slow motion can be shot up to 960 frames per second at 1080p. The selfie camera is a 32 megapixel autofocus sensor with f2.2 aperture paired with IR depth sensor. The Huawei P40 Pro, from its beautiful design shape to the outstanding camera, is definitely a true 2020 smartphone. I feel the P40 Pro Plus would be even better. You should purchase the P40 Pro totally if you have a P20 Pro. If you have a P30 Pro already, you will most likely be good unless you bet on the P40 Pro Plus. Similarly, with regards to the software and services, App Gallery may be behind the App Store and Play Store, but Huawei has dedicated $1 billion in developer support, so I hope that it will catch up soon. The P40 Pro's refinement is most impressive. The software is fantastic and feeling in the hand has improved over May 30 Pro. Overall, Huawei has come back stronger. I wish Huawei gets back Google on board in coming months. So for now, thanks for watching. My name is Manish and this is Tech and Spice. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy.